Yeah, you can say a few words, Deontay, if you'd like to from there, wherever you're comfortable. Honestly, wherever you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. okay.
please travel down this path on people and see who come out on top. And I promise you, this boy right here, this black American from Alabama, will come out on top each and every time. I'm going to put my money on that. Any questions? Yeah, how important is it for you? I saw him first. <laughs> Deontay, what are some of the things that we, the writers, reporters, bloggers, YouTubers, have been getting wrong? You get wrong about, first of all, when you call people, when you first, let me, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> when y'all consider another fighter that risks his life getting in that ring, a bomb, that's disrespectful, first off. Because any of those brave souls, out of 38, any of those brave souls, you get in the ring with them and see how you become a piece of meat yourselves. That's first off, you don't disrespect no fighter and call them a pawn. They risk their life for your entertainment. And I do so as well. Because if you get in the ring with a fighter like me, with a mentality like me, I'm a real one. And in this business, you gotta have a, you gotta have a, a mentality heart. Like, it ain't cockiness, it's confident. I'm very confident in the business of what I do. I got two different personalities. When it's come to boxing, I'm the bronze bummer. But outside of that, I'm Deontay Wilder. I'm the coolest, most gentle giant you'll ever see. I come in love, peace, and harmony. Peace beyond everybody, that's what I bring. But in this boxing thing, you gotta have confidence. You gotta sound like a savage. You gotta sound like you're the best. You can't never sound like you need more time for another champion to prepare to put yourself in a better position, AJ. That don't sound too confident. So that's the first off. Second of all, when they get my opponent, when they get see what I've done, when I knock guys out, do you see what the effect be? What other heavyweight doing what I do? Well, the heavyweight got power like me. I don't have to punch you in punches and bunches. <laughs> I don't have to do that. One punch, good man. Watch your body shatter all over the canvas. Trim, shaking, I done broke bones, I saw this. I done made God seize. You know, it's the way I do things. The way I speak as a champion, the way I move as every bit of them. People always look at size and shape, it don't matter. I'd rather be the part than look the part. Because you can look like you're a gangster or something like that, but they don't mean when it's time for it to get popped. That you're going to do anything. First of all, you'll be the first to flee. Then you put yourself in danger because they coming after you because you're supposed to be with them. Just get the fast fight. All the guys I've called out. Oh, yeah, why, why did he fight Clinch, though? Why, why did he, he ain't fighting nobody? When you have a mandatory, you must fight him. We tried to give you the best fight of your lives here. At the end of the show, Showtime been doing a hell of a job with boxing and putting, it, putting, it, putting give you the great fights, man. Hell of a job. And I was so excited, man, to end the year off. King Kong versus Deontay Wilder. I was so excited for you guys. Everything we do, we plan. We set it up, we here. We hear the fans too. Just because it don't happen don't mean it's not. I, I want, I'm, I'm the best and I want to prove that. So what, if we take our time and what we don't, we don't. It ain't gonna take too long, promise you. We ain't gonna take no more than years. We ain't gonna take no years off this. We gonna give you about a year. So we see what we doing and we gonna go to the next one. It ain't gonna be no long thing for me. I love fighting, this is what I do. I get a thrill off this. I'm in love with boxing. I'm in love with it. So no man said I fear, none. So get all of them right, get the opponents right, get who I call out, I can call everyone. Everyone y'all consider the best, I've called them out. And what have they done? From the Pavakins on down to the Ortiz. That's why you can't give these guys that's dope in these opportunities. But the first thing about how the fuck I get blamed for another man decision. How? How I get blamed? It's just like my brother gonna do something. How you gonna blame me for it? Well, you his brother. If he did it, you did it. How you gonna blame me? I, that's all I've done. And every time I try to put from the Pavakin to the Ortiz, now they talking about these Dylan Whites. When you got these other promoters doing, promoters doing all this talking with, man, we, we so far ahead on some of these people. They think they smell Spartan, but they ain't. We figure everything out. My team is so strong, minded. We figure everything out. We just let, they, we just, we let them kill themselves because all things going to reveal itself in the future, you'll see. Next question. Hey, Mr. Vern's obviously the only guy that you haven't knocked out. How badly do you want that, and how much motivation is that doing you in camp? My friend always say, I'm going to complete the task. Accomplish the mission and get the job done. This is the, from the beginning. See, it's deja vu for me. 
Coach DeBurn said, he told Chris Arriola, he, he was the first time he didn't knock him out, the second time he was gonna, he was gonna finish the job. So this is basically a reversal of what goes around comes around. But this time we'll come around to something that you ain't gonna be able to weather this storm. This storm ain't gonna be able to be weathered. And so, man, a lot of people may think, I'm just going crazy at the wheel, you know. I'm at peace, though. Like I was telling the gentleman, when you at peace, the different things in between life, because in life, no matter who we are or where we are in life, we all gonna go through things, it's called life. We gonna go through things, but when you at peace, you go through it a little bit easier. You become a little bit less hurt. So, what's the I don't wanna even say too much about stuff. I'm gonna just let y'all know this. Amen. Everything I say is come to pass. Amen. Everything I say come to pass. Why is that? And y'all, y'all hear this that, oh wow, it's just here. Let me not tell you why it's here. No man. No man. Deontay, yeah, you went from having a mega fight which was Louis Ortiz versus you, to now you remains to burn a rematch, which most networks did not want. Sharing the same building, the same town with UFC 217 and Madison Square Garden. At what point did you go? This I must, I must be cursed. This is just everything that could go wrong. Scenes with this fight and your breakout basically went from gold to a crap. Let me let me address the, the UFC 217. I promise you that doesn't make a bit of difference. Yeah. UFC is bringing out George St. Pierre out of mothballs. <laughs> that, that's fine. And they're going to do a good crowd. And not one of them, you know, is, would be someone who would be at Deontay Wilder's fight. Deontay Wilder fans are Deontay Wilder fans. Heavyweight boxing fans are heavyweight boxing fans. You're going to have UFC at every other venue in town. And, and Deontay's still going to do a crowd. You know, and and the, the reality, I mean, if we think back, Deontay thought he brought it up. If we, if we think back about Stavern, a lot of you on that Stavern fight were writing that, that Romain Stavern was too good a boxer for Deontay. That he was going to expose Deontay. That there was a lot of risk there. So now all of a sudden, what, we went from a mega fight. Well, let's, let's talk about the mega fight. Yes, Luis Ortiz has got a great nickname. We see him fight Malik Scott. You know, you saw Deontay fight Malik Scott. One fight went about 11 and three quarters rounds longer than the other. <laughs> Nine and four, I think it was 10 round fight. So, I mean, I don't want all this, you know, yes, Deontay, Deontay handled her name very easily the first time. But that doesn't mean he's not a quality fighter. Uh, I'm going to jump in for one second, David. You know, he doesn't have the luxury to feel cursed. He's got to get in the ring with a man that's got nothing to fucking lose. That, 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 that it's Christmas for Varane, Romain Stavron. Christmas, because we were gonna, we did everything in our power not to fight him, including take money out of his pocket. He made the decision to take money out of his pocket to fund, help fund the fight. And Stephen was taking money out of Showtime's budget to help fund the fight, to stop the Stavron fight from happening. And now Stavron stepped in shit. And he's sitting there going, maybe I got Deontay Wilder at a mental disadvantage. Got to be disappointed, you know. Be a, remains to burn right now is dangerous. Why is he dangerous? What the fuck does he have to lose? You know, he can't afford to feel cursed. You know, and, and by the way, the press cursed the guys who were cheating and cursed the guys who were not disclosing and failing VADA tests, cursed the guys that are causing fights not to happen. Don't curse the guy that's trying to do the right thing. But when it comes to me, though, they pray, they appraise a cheater. Look at Roy Jones doing with Quebec and Tessa Father. Give me support. I hope you come out. You're American. Look at all these American sports guys. But when they look at me, I'm like, he, can, he ain't fighting up our course. I, if it was my choice, I'll fight him on the shit because they ain't going to beat what God got for him. They ain't going to beat me. It'll be man versus machine. That's what everyone will be called. Man versus machine. One, two, three. <laughs> and, I, and it's a lot of them doing it. It's so many of them doing it. I know each and every last one of you, too, by the way. And like, there's so many of them. Give me your favorite watch. Trust me. Trust me. I, we got so much in them. We go deep, bro. <laughs> if they only knew. If they only knew who they know who they was looking at in the, in the, in the, in the present. They would say, mm, what? We know it all, man. I'm just humble. I just sit back. 
Deontay, everyone knows you've got incredible power, like the, perhaps the greatest power running heavyweight today, but have you been concerned in recent years that you have too much power? Don't say that, say it with confidence. Right. I, uh, you got the most power in the world, but you're so strong that you hurt your hand a couple of times. Are you? Has that ever put any any concern in your mind that your bones can't handle just how strong you are? Yeah, I thought about that many times, and I do got extreme uh, extreme power. You know, I've been at ever ever since I was a child. I was always that skinny guy, but but to do more than the bigger guy, that's always. You know what I mean? Never understood, you know. Maybe being from the south as well too. Always doing something. And man, daddy wanted on Saturdays. Man, no, it's no off. You know what I'm saying? You're still doing chores and stuff like that. But I don't know. He, he just blessed me with incredible power. I don't have to do. It. I don't really have to work out. There's a lot of things I do in boxing that are, that, that a lot of guys don't do when they train. I don't reveal it because I know a lot of fighters look up to me, and I don't want them to catch that that habit that I have. I want them to be, when people, when, when, when God say I want to be like him, I tell them to be better than me. I don't want to be like nobody. You should want to be like me. You should want to be better. You say, I want to be like you, but better than you. And I love that. I respect that. So you're not concerned about the stability of your hand at all? Not concerned at all. You know me. I'm a fighter, man. I'll fight you with a broken hand, a torn bicep, third degree burn, she's going to let this arm come off because I got enough. That's me. I'm a killer. I got a killer instinct. Nobody else, no other champion is more confident than me. And for that, they feel They do. I'm a real. My presence, the way I look at you, the way I say I'm a do, and the things I say come to pass to me. Deontay, is there a part of you that's really disappointed that you're not facing Luis Ortiz? Because that, because that fight, in the eyes of many in the press, would have really, really validated you as the WB. Not that you're not. But really, really signified you as the as the true dominant WBC heavyweight champion in line to get that super fight with Anthony Joshua. Did, or you, can you really describe how disappointed you were with with, with that fight not happening? Story of my life. The story of my life. The things that have been going on has been the story of my life. Something I would tell forever. But it, 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 it's, it's it's every situation I've been in. You know, so. I always be optimistic about the situation. I know something good will come out of something bad. Because with the good, you got to know how to count that to appreciate. The, 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 with, the, with the bad, you got to know how to pre handle the good, bad, to appreciate the good. See, it's easy to appreciate the good. It's you know, all rollers. But when the bad comes, some people don't know how to manifest that. I just want to take you to a question, by the way. I don't think he's got to do anything to justify getting a fight with Anthony Joshua. I mean, where's Anthony Joshua, by the way, screaming, I want Deontay Wilder right now? Yeah. I haven't seen that. I mean, I, I see some rhetoric, but then I see his promoter running around screaming about another fighter that almost lost to Derek Chisora, not about making Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua right now. I, and I can pretty much promise you that after he takes care of his mandatory, mm -hmm. his promoter's still not going to be screaming, let's make Anthony Joshua right now. And by the way, uh, Joseph Parker, where's he? You don't think we would have fought him? You don't think that's a fight that we wanted? The whole team? You don't think Steven would have bought it? You don't think Deontay's manager wanted that fight or Deontay wanted that fight or I wanted that fight? The whole truth never but the truth. I just said you for you. Deontay, you got a, you're still three weeks away from your fight and you're fighting yet another guy who has had a PED issue. Yes. Are you what? concerned that something might happen? No, again? but the only thing about Berman is um, with that situation, he didn't notify about it. Um, well, not know what well, he did right on the paper, but tell them. Actually, they ask you if, you, if you're taking anything, you know, prior to what we don't know. And that's when you let them know. It ain't no, I forgot, or nothing like that, on um, Louis Ortiz on blood pressure and shit, um, blood pressure pills. But if that's so severe, that's one, the number one thing you should put on the list if it's so life threatening. And all of a sudden, you just got blood pressure pills and you're fighting the man. But anyway. I respect that because he told them that. So when he did, when he did get popped for it, was, it, was, it wasn't like a secret. He wasn't hiding it, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I respect, I don't think he is. Well, I wouldn't say that, man. I wouldn't even say it. I was going to say I don't think he's the chief, but I, you can't doubt nobody nowadays. Especially guys that do it once. What a woman say when a man cheat? You do it one time, you do it again. And most times you do it again. Do <laughs> you think there's any chance that Pulev beats Anthony Joshua? I mean, it's boxing. It's all, it's boxing. 
And the thing about it, Joshua getting so much pressure. So much pressure now. Because that's how you hear about Deontay Wilder was after Joshua. That's everywhere. They saw they want his pressure for him. They don't want to get rid of that program they got in England. And they fear Wilder is going to mess it up. I know how the old organization was. I know how to hold but the thing about it, they fear it. We, when, we, when, we, when we fight guys, we gonna test you. We gonna test you. No matter what you use in your country, and then we gonna, we gonna bring all people, we gonna test you, we gonna see you. It's a lot of stuff goes on around here that people don't understand. It's back behind, the, back behind the scenes stuff. But we gonna test, and if you take it, you will get caught. And it show the real true person that you are. Deontay Wilder will still offer to fight you. But it ain't up to him to do so. Deontay, when you went when you went to when you went to DC um, to you know be with you know for, for that big decision and you won that you know the granted uh, that decision, did you think then that that would be a turning point? Um, and were you hoping it would be a turning point? Or are you disappointed that perhaps it, it wasn't? Uh, man, I'm not. I mean, in this sport, I'm not surprised at nothing. Boxing is going to be boxing. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in boxing. You know, some people call it a, what, a barbaric sport. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff goes on in But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that these guys taking these drugs and stuff. You know, drugs, you know, this stuff been around for years. Even back in the day, this stuff was around, man, for years. Everybody tried to enhance themselves to get to the top. And that's what it's about. But I'm just the type of person that how can you as a man Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I did. Will you really do that? How can you accept that, though? That's what I look at. I don't know. I, that's what I look at. That's why I, you know, I don't have to take nothing. I don't have to take nothing. And I don't take nothing. You know? For what? For what? What my vessel right here is going to do, this one here is going to tell it to me. I'm smarter than what people think I am in the ring. Just because I look a little while. And doing that thing, you know, I always say it's wilder, but I'm different. I'm different. And when you have different, people don't understand different. It, it's just like it's just like a beat, you know. It's just like it's just like being a magician or artist. If everybody had the same, that's how you. And then when you come in with the different, come in. They don't understand it, but it sounds good though. It's different, but in this case, different because it's me. It's, ah, you know, it's women, but I'm knocking your ass out, though. I'm packing with every point. <laughs> and believe me, I can box. Trust me, I can box my ass. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> but people don't understand different. And with that being said, you know, I'm tall, awkward, and I got power. That's risky for any fight. Any fight, I got a chance, I got a 50% chance against any fighter in the world, in the world. Just off of being tall, awkward, which is different, and with that power. Because if the awkward don't work, you better watch out for the power. If the power don't work, the awkward, you gotta worry about hitting it. And that's the thing, I'm risky. I'm dangerous. I don't want people to go back and do homework. This study just be like, man, what this man been telling us all this time, man. All these people I've been telling you about, all these things I've been saying have been coming to pass. And it ain't by coincidence. I've been telling you, let you know. Go back and do your work on me, you'll see I am the baddest. I don't care who got who on their record. Because I could have had the same thing easy if I had the opportunity. Why well, I don't ever get the opportunity? Every opportunity I get to be small. And I still had to work upon in that opportunity to make it to where I want. I always have to modify my opportunities. When some people just get it right off the bat. Oh, he's the greatest. What would he do? Oh, he, he fought this, he... But when I fight a person, it's not so good of a fight. But when they fight him, oh my God, it's the best fight in the world, Tim. That's the way it is. Amen. That's it, amen. <laughs> it's the best fight in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. And then when I don't get the opportunity, but somebody else get the opportunity, they end up beating them. Ah, you didn't, why you, you, you could you didn't could have did this, this. I do know. But it's going to be all right, though. It's a new day. It's a brighter day. So you're convinced that most heavyweights in the, in the division, they are using drugs, and that they have to use drugs, especially when, you know. Most, most, like most, you. most of them are, I don't know, most of them are, but I don't use the term have to because they don't, it's a choice that you make. 
they choose to not have the time because they feel it will give them an extra pump. It's like a booster scene when you can't see your food as you really want it. Trying to get it. You're going from chicken to steak. You know what I'm saying? You're hungry. I'm hungry. What's the last but I have to get a boost. So they put that booster on that seat and they be up in there. They, can, they barely in the door, but they just a little bit so they can eat and talk a little bit to get to the next opportunity. That's why you see all these loud mouth. Most of them want that loud mouth and stuff like that. Better do it. Mm -hmm. So for every five from the but what does it do, though? At the end of the day, what does it really do? All it does is to notify people that this is what this man is on. Because guess what they're going to do? They're going to get suspended about six months, maybe pay a fine, and guess what? They come right fucking back. Same thing. Story of my life. Same thing. Man, boxing has opened my eyes. The things that, like I told you before, I tell you, man, I've been, I've been seeing men so many people, important people, man. I've been so many places where my life has changed forever. Like, People actually be thinking I'm weird now, just the way I speak, just with some of the things I said. Like my mind is at peace. I'm at peace. When I go through my trials and tribulations, like I said, it's a breeze. I suffer and go through it, but I'm still I'm at peace with it. I'm at peace. Anything people come, I'm at peace. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to express it to you. But as a person, as it is, I can express my frustration, my pain, you know, my sympathy for you guys and myself because y'all want to see the best part of the best. You, that's the question about me. People want to know, am he really the best? All the facts are fucking there. The picture is there, everything, but they just, it's the believing part of it. Though. It's the believing part that ain't manufacturing through the head. Why not? They're doing it and thinking the hardest. The hardest. The only part, when, you, when I think about that, the only part that I could think of, and he had a stiff jab, that was the only thing. Because most of the time I'm taking the sting off these guys' punches. So if they do tie it on in the face, you know, but the only guy that had a stiff was a uh, uh, Joe Andor. He had a real nice thing. That's someone I, I can remember. But people don't really hit me. And if they do, they don't, you know, nothing wrong. Deontay, uh, over here, uh, to your left. Okay. Um, you know, for in that time that you know it was announced that you were going to now fight remains to burn. Uh, did you kind of had a, uh, a thought that, you know, with, now that you have to fight for me now and Ortiz probably not going to fight Anthony Joshua, as A.J. Hearn kind of said a while back that that was going to be the plan after who left, you, you kind of had a thought that maybe with all this happening, you could possibly get a, a fight with Anthony Joshua much sooner than originally anticipated, or do you kind of still think that it's more or less the same time frame? Because as you alluded, and Lou kind of alluded that, Anthony and Eddie Hearn aren't really as eager, or at least don't seem to be as eager to fight you as you are to fight Anthony Joshua. Er Hearn's a little bit more eager than Joshua because Hearns don't have to get in there and feel the pain and have to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be easier for him. Oh, oh Joshua's going to knock him out in three. We'll make the damn fight happen already. You know? We ain't waiting. We still going to do what we do. We'll make the fight already. And, you know, with. with I'm just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be like this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm fighting the bird now. As I came to realization, you know, especially after this Ortiz situation, man, these guys just don't want to fight. They don't want to fight. They want to fight, but they don't want to fight fair. Which brings fear. That's the fear factor, you know. Story of my life. But the thing about it, I'm, I'm, I'm happy now that I've had time to, to calm down and just think about things because, man, I had a, man, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. And I had to get away from it. I had to go, you know, find myself. You know, it's frustrating to try, when you try to prove people so bad, like, so bad. It's like, you want to prove it. You got the opportunity. You got the, what they consider the best. They consider King Kong, the Cuban style. He got power as well, too. I'm like, here it is, man. Let's see. Let's find out. And all of a sudden, that, and all of a sudden this, this big fight off, man, where I get an opportunity to finally say, hey, I'm the best. I'm the best. But he'll, or he'll, he'll still run. I'm, I'm happy I'm fighting for the simple fact that he's been my mandatory. And I don't even know how the hell he got in the mandatory position in the first place. Um, I don't know somebody slipped up and did something. I don't know who's the reason for that, who's to blame, you know. But we're just going to handle the situation, and we're going to get rid of it. Berman's been a, a blockage in my career. He's been a, he's, 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 man, as some girls will say, a plug in their butt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? And I'm so happy that I can finally get the man out of my way. Finally. He, well, he don't fight his mandatory. Why you say, have you been keeping up with boxing speeds? 
Do you guys understand what's going on? Every man told him I've tried to fire him, got popped. How can I fight somebody that's gonna fire me? It ain't my choice after that. They didn't done it. So now I hey, well, here's my mandatory. All those that say he don't fight his manager, you should be the most excited. Here's my mandatory. I can finally get him out of the way. So now I'm gonna be a free man. That's free. <laughs> <laughs> so when Joshua fight with me before me, he's a free. So snail we meet. You will see. Okay, so I'm good. All right, let's do it.